What is going on guys, DBG here, and lads, today I saw something, today I saw something lads, and we had to react, we had to react, Mr. Tyler Debo, himself, has made a top 100 list, as you guys know, I plan on making my one today, but um, I have my entire list, my list is made, I was going to make that video right now, but like, I mean, what's the point of uploading one the same day as Ty? So we're going to be reacting to this, and then we are going to make you our top 100 list, lads. So, I'm, I'm in a mood to react right now. I've been, I've been in the pub all day, and um, I'm just home right now. So let's go and make a reaction video to Ty right here. So obviously, lads, go sub to Ty. He's trying to get 70, honestly, 1,000 at a time. Let's try to get him to, to 71k if not 72k by the end of this week, and sure, it's a matter of when, not if, Mr. Debo himself hits 100k. So, lads, let's go. What is good, yo, it's your boy Ty, back here with another video. Wait, in we need to do it on this channel as well. Yo, who lives in a pineapple under the sea, sponge, bob, square, pants. If you, uh, if you have that intro, the, you, intro. The first time someone mentioned that to me on stream, that it sounds like starting the SpongeBob team might have been the f most I've ever laughed on stream at a comment. Yo, it is good, yo. It's your boy Todd back here with another video. And in this video today, I am going to be ranking my top 100 players within NBA. I want to see how it's like. There's bias and there's not considering another gen. So like, if he has Kareem in his top like six cards, that's not current gen bias. That's not even considering the other gen. Like Kareem, like. I just want to see, because obviously I'm going to bias for next gen, he's going to bias for current gen. I just want to see if there's a little bit of bias, or if he's wetter, he's just just not considering current next gen whatsoever. My team. Now, a little side note, okay? I'm going to miss some players on this list. I oh, yeah, we all miss players. We all miss players. I just went through each of these cards and ranked them in the miss players. order that I think they should go in. But the odds of me overlooking somebody, just completely missing out on them is... We all miss players. players. This list is impossible to do about missing players. That's probably why, okay? That's probably why, probably because I forgot about them. But if there's, you know, one that's on the border, that is probably, uh, you know, somebody like, a hey, let's say, uh, a guy I left off that might have been close is Dwight Howard. I just realized my last video is reacting to Ty as well. This We may as well just call this channel DBG Reacts at this stage. Like, three of my last five videos are reaction videos. I hate this Dwight Howard card, so I did not put him on this list. He sucks. But he's probably a card who is decently he, He'd be in my top 100, but he sucks. So he's just a guy I didn't forget about, but just didn't quite make the cut. This is both forward, current gen, and next gen. So when we get to Kevin Durant, obviously, we will talk about that in its own right. Now, before we dive any further, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road yep, do to 80,000 subscribers. So we're going to start off the list do that, like. at number 100 with one of my personal favorite Galaxy Opals in the game. In I Galaxy thought he'd be Opals. higher. I like Hunter. 6772 wingspan hotspots from everywhere. I like Hunter. 45 out of favors, 15 on gold, 96 3 ball, 90 driving duck, 90 speed ball, 86 ball, 95 speed. I really like Hunter. Matter. Quinn is healthy and showtime. She was perfect, 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 incredible. Defensively beats people up as well. Tennessee wise perfect. It comes down to jump shot 32. Release isn't the easiest to green, but it is super quick. Quick dribble style, pro two size escape, pro three moving back. I don't mind him on the list. first came out, I thought he was going to be here for a long time. He's not the best card in the game, but for example, if you're a Virginia fan, Atlanta Hawk fan, or just DeAndre Hunter fan, I'd run this card. He can hold it down in any type of a setting. Coming in one step higher at number 99, we're going to talk about the out 99! How low is he? Oh my god, that's too low. I don't even care who the other cards are, that's too low. Smith card, 6 foot 97 foot wingspan with hot spots from everywhere. 43 dollar fame badges with 24 on gold. Comes with a 91 3 ball, 96 driving down, 94 ball, 86 ball, 94 speed station, 96 lateral quickness. Gives you pretty similar things to DeAndre Hunter. Hall of Fame showtime, shooting wise, pretty solid, player quite solid, defensively solid as well. Josh Smith's just a little bit taller, I like his player both on current gen just that little bit more. Release wise, I struggle with the upper, whatever it is, 82. That's not an upper that I would recommend for many people. John Wall base is fine, but with the upper it's just weird. Pro 2 size escape, Pro 2 tween as well as the pro so in the back. Good. For some so of these targets, good. Some, like Dream League and the Mighty Madness, people are gonna, you're gonna see Josh, Josh Smith ran as one of the Galaxy Opals, so he has to make this list. Coming in here at number 98, we're going to talk about a guy that... One of the Josh Smith's better than him. He used to run in the dark matter, Jerry He's Allen. really good. Six, 11, seven, five, he's like a mini Moses Malone, or bigger Moses Malone. He's not bad at all. Moses Malone. He's like a hot spot from the top of the key. Stat-wise, 88 three balls a little low. 95 driving dunk. Ball knows fine. Speed, 91's not bad. 94 ladder quickness. How they've showed time shooting-wise, only gold range. Flexible, pemic wise pretty solid. With every defense... Slightly worse Moses. Pest, tendency-wise, for Jared Allen. I mean, we couldn't really ask for more jump shot. 31 on very quick Moses release. Shift your style pro two size escape pro movement back. Honestly, Jared Curry and next gen. next gen compared to current and just because of this movement. Either way, though, Jer Allen deserves a spot on this list coming in at number 98. Coming in at number 97, we're going to talk about a card that is overlooked by a lot of the community, including myself in the Pink Diamond Casey Oak Pilot. 687 foot one. Wait, Five what? Outside of the top key. 45 other favorites, 8 on gold. So listen and listen closely. 89, 3 ball, 95 driving, 96. I like him, but over Josh Smith, you're, I bet you anything you're not going to have Dean Wade on this list. 
well, 86 body, 94 speed acceleration, 94. Like he's good, speed. but he's not Josh Smith. Wise, perfect. I get it. He doesn't have Hall of Fame range. He's not Josh Smith. Overvalued badges in the game. Playmaker wise, perfect, including the Hall of Fame ankle breaker. And then just look at all the defensive badges. Best part about it: six, eight. Can play the two guard seven. He's not Josh Smith. Wise, very solid. Jump shot five. I like five. So a lot of people are gonna be like, Ty, Clyde Drexler is this. Clyde Drexler is that. Is Clyde Drexler even better than this part? Yes. Of the I can't answer that question. Yes. Three drops out. Pro two sides escape. Pro three move by the back. Casey Opala, one of the most overlooked players in NBA 2K21. Coming not as good as Josh Smith. Here, not as good as Josh Smith. I have mixed emotions about in Thurl Bailey. Six See, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a tie on this. I'm gonna fixate on one player this entire list. I'm gonna do a tie does in his reactions and fixate on one player. I'm gonna fixate on that one player. He's not as good as Josh Smith. Seven foot wingspan, hot spots from everywhere. 56 out of He's not terrible, though. He's not terrible. We need 88 three ball, 98 driving duck. 94 is about 86 point, 96 speed acceleration, 95 ladder queen. That's the Hall of Fame showtime. She was on the golden range, but that's really the only downfall in the card outside of his release. He's got every Hall of Fame defensive badge in the game. It's his upper. But the release 69 upper is just, it's it's one of the worst in the game. Upper is room releases. More than base is room releases. Shift your style pro two sides escape on next gen's gonna be moving as well as the pro three movement. Let's normalize that. Upper is mean as much as base is for jump shots. His base range is one of the best base in the game. His upper is useless. If you don't shoot a lot of threes, if you like running to the rim and like defense, Thurl Bailey is going to fit in well with what you are looking for. Coming in at number 95, one step out of Thurl Bailey. We're going to talk about Elgin right, Baylor, six foot five, six eight wings, man, with hot spots from everywhere. 44 out of favors, 28 on gold. So that's the one thing about Elgin that I love is if you look at the badge, he doesn't have steady dream shake. Every other badge in the game, it's like Mini Luka. Elgin Baylor does provide on his base card. 94 three ball, 85 Mini Luka. 94 three ball, 91 ball handle. 95. Wish it steady. 97 lateral quickness. Again, for me, it's just a bad. Hall of Fame Showtime range, angle breaker defensively is pretty solid as well. Tendency wise, solid. Six, X and base. base. One very quick. Quick drip style, pro two sides, skate, pro two tween. He was the pro three movement. Back He's mini Luka. If OJ Baylor was like 6'7 with a 6'10 wingspan, he'd be a top 50 player in this game. There is no. He's just mini Luka. That. Coming in at number 94, maybe a surprise for a lot of you guys is the to be honest, onto the Kubo card. 6'11, 7'4. What? He is on this list because of how good he is on current. How is he not at least top 50? Everything else, stat wise, is basically like the other Giannis onto the Kubo card. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. He's so good. The hot spots do hurt him. I'm not even as high on Giannis' tires. Obviously, have good tendencies. Sig wise, Giannis base on very quick is easier to time. Slash your dribble style. So, again, just a current. Giannis some quick is easier time than very quick. Giannis is overlooked on current gen because of the new Giannis is, but if you're balling on a budget and want Giannis, he's so good. Not sleep on the radioactive Giannis coming in at number 94. Coming in at number 93, we're going to talk about Yi Yale in here, seven foot feet tall. Okay, if he's 93, then we've got a good list. 22 on gold, 93 three ball, 90 driving deck, 90 speed ball, 88 pointer, 91 speed acceleration, 91 lateral quickness. How they show time shooting wise has every badge, playing wise, very solid, defensively solid as well. He's just got every badge you need, 66 base badges. He's a card who should be better than he is. Jump shot 70 on very quick, shift your pro two size escape, which obviously on current gen or next gen can't do. Pro one move back again he Allen should be better than he is and if and if i have to play in budget tournaments you might see him rant at my shooting guard position but there's one shooting guard learn about cliff there's a couple of galaxy shooting guards that i just like learn about cliff more, but he is a very solid option at that too or if cliff's a go three, you definitely can as well coming in here at number 90 so chicken man middleton here. Shooting guard small he's one of the best shooters in the game middleton is his player build. he doesn't look very lengthy doesn't look very long six seven six ten wingspan hot spots from every if you've even seen jesser greens every shot with him his release might be windy it's not the quickest get off but catch and shoot situations is one of the easiest to green you can green can you can green consistently with his sapphire in this game i just have good easy that release his green especially on next gen 54 out of favors nine on gold 98 3 ball 85 driving 94 3 ball 86 bonus 94 speed station 98 lateral quickness hall of fame showtime shooting wise incredible play wise solid as well defensively is going to get the job done tendency wise incredible jump shot 56 on very quick so chicken of a release at least on current gen Shifty, so job, better, better on next gen than current gen incredible i want to see him open in, in the finals though that's something i need to do oh yannis you know make history make you make your name known because i see a lot of people disrespecting the man with the plan a card I didn't They're not playing tonight, already. On this list, but I did is the new Dark Matter Ben Wallace, six nine seven foot wing, wingspan, hot spots for where they're not playing tonight. Already. Gold. I'll be the first to say Ben Wallace is better on next gen than current gen. Ninety five. He's a god. He's a god on next gen. Ninety five speed acceleration, ninety nine lateral quickness. How they show time shooting wise, every badge you can want outside of steady. Play make wise, pretty solid, and then defensively is going to beat people up. So badge wise, Ooh, game four is tonight. Perfect. It just comes down to I don't know what it is. Maybe it's his player, but maybe it's just the fact that he can't run the three. But when you come up against a guy like Bull, but when you come against uh, against yeah, when you come against Kareem, okay, I might stay up much that game. It doesn't seem like he does the job. Play yourself pro two size escape can't do that. He's many Bill Russell. Right stat badge, even release wise, should be better than he is. There's just something about him I don't necessarily love. Running out the first 10 players of the list, we are going to talk about the new Dark Matter DeAndre Ayton here. Seven foot one. Seven okay, fair enough. If he's 90, then fair enough. Josh Lakers may be in lower. Goal. The fact that DeAndre Ayton is coming here at number 90 just goes to show how good this list is. 89 three. Yeah, I might be better. wrong with that. Like, you know, 94 speed acceleration, 93 lateral quickness. I think Showtime shooting wise, incredible. Playmaking wise, very solid and defensively solid as well. The thing about Ayton is, if you pick him up, you're going to have to apply those you have the, playmaking badges. I'm writing his release is meh. Badges. You apply each every one of those, you're looking at a very meh card. But handles for days, for example, is not. Cheap by any means. Release is meh. Apply that to him. Jump shot 112 on very quick. A good release. Shift your style pro two side escape. Some of the pro three we move by the back as well as a pro eight tween. Uh, He's good.
would have been one of the top cards in the game. Sterling Brian Van Ingram, but he plays Power Forge. 6, 9, 7, 3, 20 pounds, hot spots from everywhere. 31 out favors, 20 on goal. The way I like to think about Siakam, although he does have Hall of Fame blindness, they am like another Brandon Ingram type of player. 94 3 ball, 10, 90 Johnny Dunn, 91 ball, 87 ball, 94 speed, 95 lateral quickness. Hall of Fame showtime, shooting wise, every single badge, including the steady play request. Perfect outside of ankle break. You're going to use Brian Van Ingram at small forward, you might as well use Siakam. Or at least that I've grown to love this year. I loved it last year, but this year started off rough, but I've grown, uh, especially I'm very quick to love it. Ship Jim's not pro two sides escape. I don't, I don't actually disagree too much with this list. He could have at one time, you know, been a top 10. I thought Josh Smith was going to be bad. Him a little too late. Coming in at number 88, you guys might think this is a little low. Is the Dark Matter Michael Porter Jr. card? You know Six what? Days, Fair days, enough. Days, at least on current gen, I can't stand running this far. Fair That's enough. Crazy. I don't mind that position. On gold. Objectively, it should be good. 95, 3 ball, 95. Way better 95, on next gen. Not current current gen. Speed station, 94 lateral quickness. The card should be good. Hall of Fame Showtime, range extender, flexible, playmaker wise, perfect defensively is elite. Tendency wise, it's not even bad, right? 95 driving dunk tendency, defensive tendencies are good. Jump shot 62 isn't a great release, but it's fine on very quick. Shift drip style, pro two sides escape. Why you might be better on next gen. Has the curry escape, has the shifty driver style, as well as the pro three boom in the back. He's way but better than that. A, a card I personally not had a lot of success with. I didn't like his animations around the rim. A lot of downsides to MPJ, especially his player model on current gen. Card I'm just not a massive fan of, but I still have him on this list. The card I am a little bit bigger of a fan on is the Dark Matter Jamie Grant. Now, if you compare Jamie Grant side by side to Michael Porter Jr., stat he's literally just worse, Michael Porter Jr. He's the same release. Michael Porter Jr. is better and he's taller. Like, he's literally just worse, Michael Porter Jr. This is like putting Cam... I know you're going to do it, but it's like putting Cam Reddish ahead of Paul George. Cam Reddish is literally just worse Paul George. Jeremy Grant is just worse Michael Porter Jr. Badge wise, you're going to say, how is Jeremy Grant better? But it's the eye test. Six, eight, seven, two, what do you mean the eye test? It's the same freaking release. The same card. Hot spots from everywhere. 50 out favors, 21 on gold. 95, 3 ball, 95 driving deck. 93 speed ball, 90 ball handle, 95 speed, 96 ladder quickness. Basically the same stats as Michael Porter Jr. And the crazy thing is, you wanted Michael Porter Jr. clone. Here you go. Basically identical cards. Where Jeremy does give you, he does give you the Curry escape on current gen. I just like Jeremy that little bit more. Okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. Cur current gen, Jeremy's better. Next gen, Michael Porter Jr. is better. And it's not even a question. Put them side by side because they're basically the same card. MPJ, just a little taller, a little shorter wingspan. Jeremy Grant, a little shorter, a little taller wingspan. MPJ is way thing, better on next gen. Way higher. better. Card I had no idea where to rank was this guy right here. Pink Diamond. Yeah, Michael. yeah, fair. Because I think that's the perfect spot. For I'd have him higher, but whatever. Just, ultimately, he's not that good, and he's terrible on current gen. But he is a cheese bone, deserves some respect. Seven, seven, eight. Foot Run. Eight, you hold sprint. Game, with you can him. have some more success with Madupo than a guy like Jeremy Grant. Hot spots from everywhere. Forty out of gamers, eleven on gold. You hold sprint. Ball, with him. Eighty-five driving duck. Only an eighty speed. Eighty-six ball. Hundred eighty-three speed. Acceleration. Eighty-seven ladder quickness. Does have dollar game blinders on next gen? And here's the thing. You got one hundred and forty-eight speed. I'm telling you this right now. Wait until we get a good Manu Bowl car. Because it's coming. If you don't think we're going to see a better Manu Bowl next he's season, gonna be he's going to be Curry sliding next season. Don't be surprised when it comes next season. He's going to be Curry sliding. He is not very good. Coming in at number 86. Coming in at number 5. Where's my man's at? Uh, I got I to gotta find my Just man's a heads up, lads. We could potentially be getting Dark Matter Sean Bradley. I need to actually check this. Is Sean, can Sean Bradley Curry slide? Yeah, Sean Bradley, we might be getting, because Sean Bradley, if you guys don't know, was in Space Jam. Sean Bradley could just be better yamming. He was in Space Jam. Coming in at number 85, we do see OG and Inobi here. 6, 8, 7, 2 wingspan. Very similar card to the likes of a Jeremy Grant. 53 out of favors, 9 on gold. 96, 3 ball, 95 driving deck. 93 speed ball, 86 ball, 96 speed. 96 acceleration, 98 lateral quickness. I just like OG a little bit better on the defensive end of the court. Hall of Fame, Showtime, shooting wise, half range, catch shoot, high zone, hundred flexible, play wise, solid, defensive side. The only downside. I'm actually going to tweet that out. I'm actually going to tweet that out right now. That is his release is not very fast. It's easier to green uh, than a guy's like Michael Porter Jr. In my opinion, it's just not quick. It's kind of it's kind of that slow load up type animation. Quick drop style, pro two size escape, pro three move by the back. But what he gives you on the defense and can't be overlooked. Look at the defensive stats here. I'm telling you guys, if you want a defensive player, look no further than my man's OG and you know and it over. Chris Weber coming in here at number 84. Way too low. Way too low. Probably would have him a lot higher. Just not a fan of Chris Weber. I do think he's the he's best player in this flash zone set that you so can good. Before, but so that's good. not saying much because I'm not high on the card. 6.973 wingspan, hot spots from everywhere. 57 out of famers, 15 on gold. 94, 3 ball, 95 driving deck, 96, 4 ball, 86, 4 to 95 speed acceleration. 94 lateral quickness, Hall of Fame showtime, shooting wise, everything outside steady, which is perfect. Play by solid, defensively very elite as well. Tennessee wise, for my man's Chris, solid camera base, very quick. Shift your style, pro two size escape, pro three movement back. Will you're on current gen or next gen? Chris Weber's a complete player. He's a guard you can plug in at the small four position, and you just know he's going to be able to hold it down. One step higher than Chris Weber. I'm not going to have all my magics together, just so you know. Is yeah, it? so lads, we, we realized, we realized the big thing, the big deal. Sean Bradley was in the original Space Jam. If he comes on Friday, he will be a Curry's Lighting Yao Ming. Enshrine magic downs. 
I think the Team USA magic and the other one, the Invincible magic, are super close. And this magic's not far off. Don't get it twisted. He's not far off. But if you look at his badges, I mean, he's a step below, right? He's missing some defensive badges. Shooting-wise, missing some. Even playmic wise missing some. So although I'm high on this Magic Johnson, he's not as good as some other ones. He still makes a list right around the 80 range. He comes in here at number 83. It just comes down to the reason I'm not higher on any of the Magics is because the Magic Johnson base on very quick. Magic doesn't give anything different than, than you, you might think, right? But he's definitely solid. If he just had a better release, uh, he would be incredible. The reason Magic was so good in past years is because the Pro 3 move on the back one was just Pro 3 was unbelievable. Just the same. John Collins coming in here. Put the three Magics eight, together. Two. John Collins is so good, though. Beta. People swear by this John Collins. I like, I like that he's on the list. Badges, 53 of them on Hall of Fame. 95 3 ball, 98 driving deck, 89 score, 87 ball, 95 speed acceleration, 93 lateral quickness. And all around, he's an incredible card. Hall of Fame showtime, shooting wise, incredible, playmaking wise, solid, defensively is incredible. Again, it's just the fact 6 9, six, nine at the power four position is not something I can get behind. You see it with uh, some of the guys I like him. further down. I like him, though. He's got a big player build. That's really it. John he's got a big player build. He's a Kobe base. He's a chicken man. He's released a little bit more. That's why he's higher, but this is basically the same card. John Collins might be better on next gen, but on current gen, 6 foot 9 at the four is just something I definitely cannot get behind so we're gonna put one of our trace mcgrady's in here and this one is gonna be the re radioactive t-mac here at number 81 six eight seven two wingspan hot spots from everywhere they're now famous 24 on gold this card is good but you gotta remember he came out march 26th april may june july four months ago and this card was basically a goat card when he came out badge wise left a little bit to be desired but you look at the stats 98 3 ball 99 driving deck 96 people 97 ball you know 97 speed 97 this card's good this is when the downfall of 2k really started trace mcgrady only has a release on quick but it's fine quick drop style pro 2 size escape pro one moment back this, this card's still, still solid if he's your favorite shooting guard in the if game, you're on next gen he's, he's still class he's gen. still great and want to have a lot of success now the DeRozans are up next these cards are basically identical i can't separate these cards they're literally the same this DeRozan has a very quick release this DeRozan uh, only has a quick release now stat wise this DeRozan is a little bit better than this DeRozan so i can't separate them you're gonna have one DeRozan. this one's probably cheaper so just get this DeRozan, and you can have success with him coming to the next very game, quick release that one's better obviously basically just like tracy mcgrady just DeRozan doesn't have steady shooters so you're gonna knock down more shots if you are on current and again this one has the very quick release the pro three movement in the back whereas this one's just a little better stat wise does only have the pro one movement in the back so it just depends on what you prefer i'd probably prefer the galaxy over the DeRozan, but it's really preference Galaxy that was better no, just realized that better. I had DeAndre Hunter on the list twice uh, because I forgot to delete him from earlier and move him down. So that is why we are going to skip number 78, okay? We're going to go right to number 77. And at number 77, we do see He's the Dark Matter with Carter Jr. Six foot ten, seven through wingspan. Hot spots from everywhere. I mean, Weber's well. better. Weber's, Weber's better than every card we've seen so far. Anthony Davis. That's the best way I can describe the card. Now, again, the Gallinari base on very quick. You look at the guys that have it. I can't say I love any of these releases. I on very quick. I love it on all of them. I love it on all of them. Quick. Shifty dribble style does come with the pro three movement back. I think he's better on current gen and next gen just because of his player building player model. Badge wise is fine, stat wise is fine. It's fine. And if you like Wendell Carter Jr., you can run the card. That's what I'm saying. He can compete in any type of a setting. Coming in one step higher than Wendell is the Dark Matter Lamar Odom. That low. Came out old just over I mean, I still think Josh Smith Lamar's is better known. I mean, maybe I underrate Lamar Odom, but I'm just not a fan of him. Six still think Josh Smith's better. Spots from ever. 55 out of famers, 15 on gold. 92, 3 ball, 95, Javi Doug, 94, 6 ball, 90, 4 ball, 94, speed acceleration, 93, lot of quickness. He's a card that should be better than he is. It's just, I don't know what it is. I even like the Paul George base on very quick. Maybe it's his upper. Maybe I need to give Lamar another try considering I love that Paul George release. I don't know. Maybe we'll try Lamar again, but I have him today here at number 76. Coming in at number 75, I think this is our highest pink diamond on the list. No, it's not. We got one in the top 20, I think. But we got Thaddeus Young here at number 75. 6, 8, 6, 11. We spent his guard defensively, who's going to leave a little bit to be desired, but offensively, he more than makes up for it. Hotspots for 46 out of favors, 9 on goal, 93 ball, 90 driving duck. Literally Unpopular pink. opinion, Chris Webber and Josh Smith are better than every other card we've seen in this list so far. Especially Chris Webber. Chris Webber is so much better. I like that Young. Chris Webber is so much better. Bodies, 92 ball, 86 ball, 92 speed acceleration, 92 lateral good. His Hall of Fame showtime shooting wise, pretty solid. Playing wise, good enough. And then defensively, badge wise, he can at least hold it down. It's just the reason he's not that great on defense. It's more than anything just because of his player, but D Wade based on very quick shift. You have stop pro two size escape pro three movement in the backs. If you have to play in this Dream League, the Monty Madness tournaments that require you to run certain amount of, or a certain team. But there are 20, 30 entries in these tournaments. These videos combine. These, this video you're going to type is going to be, there's going to be 20,000. 0.1% of people are going to be playing in these tournaments. So, like, why put a why put a player on a list based on how effective they are in a mighty minus term that 30 out of the 30,000 people are going to enter? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense, Ty. That young is a card I, you know, tend to see, right? At the Pink Diamond tier, he's probably my second favorite. All I agree with you. I fully agree with your r logic that, yeah, if you are playing these tournaments, he's great. But... There's 30 entries to these tournaments, like. After Thaddeus Young, we are going to talk about the Galaxy Opal West Unsell point guard again. Why is he above Lamar Odom? I don't know. It's just personal preference, and that's really all I can say. They probably should switch spots, honestly. I and mean, looking at, at it again from like a from like a non-biased standpoint, I understand if you Wes on that, Josh Smith's so much better than Wes on Sons. Especially 48 out of favors. Not even funny how much better Josh Smith is better than Wes on Sons. 94 three ball, 95 driving duck, 95 ball, 86 ball, 95 speed acceleration, 94 lateral quickness. How they showtime shooting wise incredible, playing wise incredible, defensively is incredible. Ten to wide, you can ask for more. Kobe base on very quick shift. Your side pro two says escape pro. Wes is basically point guard. Why would somebody have Wes on Sons? 
above Lamar Odom. Stat-wise, badge-wise, are pretty similar. West is smaller, wider player build, basically the same wingspan. So it, it really does come down to preference. It, it really truly does. And at the time I made my list, I just preferred West Unsell that little bit more. Now at number 73, we're gonna talk about the Galaxy. Oh, All hail Lordino. All hail Lordino, lads. Hall of Fame badge with 15 on gold. 96 three ball, only an 85 driving deck, 90 speed ball, 86 ball, 92 speed acceleration, and only an 88 lateral fitness. So here's the thing about Dino. Doesn't even come with showtime. Shooting wise is incredible. Defensively is incredible. But this Dino isn't perfect. And that's why he's not any higher. Dino's player model will never get better. His release is fine. But he's got to be better stat wise for me to be any higher on him. Tendency he's still god tier. Very quickly. His release he's still god tier. Shift your style pro two size up escape pro three moving the back as well as pro two tween. Current gen next gen. The moment we get another Dino, watch out because the dude is going to be absolutely He's already god tier. 72. We are going to talk about Shea Gilgis Alexander. 16 gold showtime. 3k. 96 three ball, 95 driving deck, 96 speed ball, 98 point 96 speed acceleration 97 lateral quickness hall of fame showtime every shooting badge you could want in the game playing class perfect defensively is perfect as well might as well be an invincible card without that name 91 your jump shot 91 on current gen is I mean, such a tough again game. josh smith's probably so better pro two size escape pro three move in the back i love shay gilgis alexander his price is going to be very inflated for how good he is but trust me he's a more than solid card in this game Richard Josh Edwards, Smith is better, and so Chris Webber is so much better. Since I only have 90, 90, or since I only have ninety-nine players, you can plug in Gerald Wallace right now. Chris Webber is so Webber much better in both of these. Now, whether you prefer Gerald Wallace or Richard Jefferson, it's really preference, right? They're, They're both fine. Both, both these guys are fine. For Gerald Wallace, okay, ninety-three, three Both of them, neither of them are as good as Josh Smith either. Ninety-eight lateral quickness. He's gonna give you everything you could possibly want. Jump shot, not the best jump shot for him. Very quick. Shifty jumper style, pro two size escape, pro three move in the back. Then with Richard Jefferson, you know, basically the same. How to pull though? Wingspan. I think Richard gives you more as far as that. He literally launches the ball from here. Richard Jefferson's release this year has just been a little bit iffy right it's a catapult back, like, which i'm not really sure about but they're basically the same card if you grind it out the gauntlet spot like sims it's just preference whether you prefer rj or whether you prefer a guy like a gerald wallace card now into our top 70 we're gonna start off with a next gen may card if you're on current gen please hear me out do not use nicholas Batum if you are on current gen but if you are on god gen, he is absolutely elite Six, nine, god nine, hot spots from everywhere 42 famous, i forgot he existed when i have darius miles point guard yet no no nick patoon's a backup 94 lateral quickness does come with gold showtime hall of fame steady hall of fame blind as we know nick patoon's a backup nick patoon's a backup for hita god not a great release. God. On next gen, it's fine. Shift your Unbelievable on next gen. It's chicken on next gen. Please only use Nicholas Batum if you're on next gen. That's kind of the only thing I'll Yeah, but he's top 50 on next gen. Go ahead and do your thing. Lonzo Ball coming up next at number 69. The fact that I put him all the way down. If you got Kevin Porter Jr. Game, not on this that list. Show how good these players are. Six, 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 nine, we stand. Hot spots you better have KBJ on this list. Nine, gold, 97, three ball, 97 driving deck, 98 speed with ball, 96 ball handle, 98 speed acceleration, 98 lateral quickness. Does come with the Hall of Fame showtime, shooting wise, Hall of Fame range, flexible catch, and shoot hot zone 100 times. Your player quite solid. Defensively, I mean, Lonzo is going to do it all. Again, yeah, similar to Shea Gilgis Alexander. Basically, a GOAT card without the name is quite honestly what Lonzo is going to give you. One thing I will say, though, is that we all, Lonzo is a hype. He is still a hype name. Like, I, one of the lads I was out with earlier, one of the lads from, that I know from college that I was met up with earlier today was talking about how he literally he bought a Pelican, one of the Pelicans jerseys for, um, for specifically just to get Lonzo Ball, which is kind of crazy because you'd be thinking anyone that bought a Pelican jersey by Zion, but, um, which is actually from like he's from an area in Ireland where basketball's not big. Like again, probably most of you guys probably wouldn't know specific areas in Ireland, but he's from an area where basketball's not big. But still, just the hype of Lonzo Ball from Lavar still has made him a household name, which is kind of crazy to this day. Like, tendency wise, very solid. Sig wise, it does come with the Lonzo base. I think Lonzo's base is better than release 22, but that's just my personal opinion. Shifty Jumpstart Pro 2. So Lonzo's so is great, though. Lonzo's, Lonzo's Ball is very solid. The fact that he's all the way down at 69 makes me kind of upset considering how much I love the pink diamond Lonzo. We're at number 68 here, guys, and I realize how long we do have left, so I just need to speed this thing up just a little bit. Yeah, it happens every time I do this. Is Anthony Davis. Offensively, it's basically the same as the Dark Matter. Defensively, you guys I prefer Dino, but that's fine. Fitness. That's where he just leaves a little bit. I have no problem with it. Do you notice the difference between this Anthony Davis and the Dark Matter offensively? Probably not. Defensively, you might. Obviously, he does have the AD base on very quick. So I feel the same for me. Pick up, especially for his price. Like, for his price, probably one of the, he was on my top value cards in the game that just goes to show how high i am on on a disney this card up is bam out of bayou now he is way better on current gen out of the bayou i said current gen current gen on the next gen because he's 6'9 obviously can't move like this like the guy so can opal's um, better gen, on next gen 55 out of favorite sports opal's better on next gen 96 ball he's, 93 speed acceleration 95 lateral quickness out of showtime Let i'm it. sorry but how is he better than michael porter jr and just just explain to me show like how is he better than mpj same release very similar stats, and he plays a worse position. How is he better than MPJ? I can't get behind for Bam on current Genesis release. And that's really what it comes down to. Not a big fan of the jump shot. How is he better than MPJ? So, coming in at number 66. He's not better than MPJ. Out of for Darius Miles. 6, 9, 7, but we spin hot spots from... I prefer Batum, but I'll give you that. Between both gens, you're probably right. 
What it comes down to is his release. Stat wise, badge wise, he is chicken. Perfect. He's you know, so chicken. 97 driving gun, tendency 100. Defensively solid, jump shot 65. I don't know how I feel about that jump so shot. So chicken. It might be okay. I'm just inconsistent with it on current gen. It's just the way it is. Quick dribble He's so Pro chicken. Pro Pro back. You need a budget point guard. Darius Miles is your guy. You're about the right Gervin. spot though. 65 here. We're going to talk about George Gervin. 6, 7, 6, 10, Gervin 10, down. Everywhere. Josh Smith's better than Gervin. Cards in the game. 51 out favors, 19 on goal. Gervin down 30 spots. Them 30 spots. 96 speed, 96 letters, 95 lateral. Greatest Hall of Fame showtime. Shooting wise, perfect. Play wise, pretty incredible as well as defensively. Tendency wise, Move him down 30. Got those base on very quick. Again, a release that's okay. Not the biggest fan of it. Quick Gervin's not Pro 2. Says his K Pro 3 moving back. Gervin gets a lot of hate. He's not as bad as people make him out to be, but he's definitely not worth the tokens. He's in the top 100, but he's not playing Josh Smith. for a little bit. He comes in here at number 64. A lot of you guys might argue with me on this. He's got a big Anton James, six, eight, seven, one weeks. How Scott is he not top 50? Tables, 16 on gold. There's just something How? about defense that don't feel good, and Anton is one of those guys. 94, 3, 90 driving back. This is preference problem. 95 speed station, 95 ladder, quickness, hot fame, showtime. Now, I will say this. Anton Jameson on next gen is elite. On current gen, he's just not it. There's so many people who have the X and base or have the Kawhi. Yeah, base. but you don't put someone who's a top, potentially top 10 on next gen at 60. Especially when he's probably about 60 for current gen. You gotta have Antoine Jameson top 40. 40, I'd accept, not 60. A good release. He's nothing special. He's okay. He's definitely yes, okay he on next gen, but on current gen, not a card. So I would good. recommend picking up for you guys. Anton Jameson's final feature. One thing, one thing I've learned right here, outside of Nick Batum, this is a purely current gen list. He's not taken, like, again, I obviously have next gen bias compared to current gen. Like, I will be the first. I will admit that. But at least I take current gen into account. Outside of Nick Batum, there's not one player on this list. This is a current gen list. This is a purely current gen list outside of Nick Batum, and I don't know how Josh Smith was still at 98. Understand, but for me, he just isn't really it. For me, this card is one of the most undervalued and underrated, underrated players in the game. I can't really say. I don't actually mind them, but how is he better than Jameson? Undervalued because he's a season rewind player. Six, eight, seven foot wings. He's more eight. expensive and he's worse. Gold, you guys can see the hot spots. How? How is he better than James? How they show top shooting guys incredible. Flavor guys perfect defensively is incredible. If his name was Kobe Bryant, this card would be hyped up to the max. That's all I'm gonna say. Jump shot 22, very he's good. Fine. Pro fine. One of the most underrated cards in the he's game. Overlooked. Fine. And Drew Wiggins, Lamelo Ball coming in at number 62. One of the harder guys I had to. Rate. I agree. I kind of agree with that spot. Hot spots from everywhere. 53 out famers, 10 on gold. Movement wise, he's similar to Penny Hardaway, who we will see later on this list. Like movement wise. If you know how to dribble, you're gonna like Lamelo. 98 three ball, 95 driving dunk, 97 speed ball, 98 bonus, 97 speed acceleration, 97 ladder. Quickness, health, showtime, shooting by solid, play by solid. Defensively, is very solid. His release is just okay. Like I don't know if it's the Austin Rivers upper, is it just base 38? And it's just not what it was last year. Quick dribble, stop. I love base 38. I actually, I, I think it's the right spot for Melo. I love him. As elite as it was. He's not that much better than Darius Moss. Melo comes in here at 62. 61. We're gonna talk about Arvidas Sabonis, one of the cheesiest cards in all of 2K7. If you use him on next gen, he's top 30, and I don't care. Debate a wall. He's top 30. He is the most, one of the most cheesy guys just run to the basket. 7, 6 wings, man. Hot spots from everywhere. 53 out of favors, 8 on gold. Now, Arvidas is one of the most overlooked cards in the game. 96, 3 ball, 90 driving duck, 88 speed ball, 86 ball, handle, 89 speed, 89 acceleration, 80, 89. Like, I legit have to consider whether I use him or Bill Russell. And I still think Bill Russell is in the debate for top 10 cards in the game. And I sometimes use Sabonis over. So let's say you do this to Arvidas Sabonis. Now, I'm not recommending doing this, but let's say you do this. I'm not telling you to. But if you do this and get him a 98 speed, 94 acceleration, 99 three ball, 99 driving depth, speed ball, ball handle goes up. The only thing he lacks is, is his lateral quickness. That's really it. You get a mini type of Yao Ming out of Arvita Sabonis if you do apply those things. I'm not going to sit here and gas his base card, but if you give him the dunking shoe, if you give him Mike D'Antoni, he becomes a top center in all of 2K. Literally, just a mini Yao Ming is what Sabonis does become. Coming in one step ahead of Sabonis at number 60 is the dentist, Terry Dishinger. You'll always have a special place in my heart and all of the 2K players. The dentist. We love the dentist. Like, six, seven, seven, the eight. dentist. And naturally, at 6'7", it's tough to go higher than this. Cheers. You're going to see one of these Cheers to the dentist. Than you guys might think. But Dish Dishinger's okay. You know what? He's going to give you the Rudy base on very quick. Quick dribble style pro two. Don't worry, lads. It's water. As well water. as the pro tween. He's fine. He can hold it down at the shooting guard small forward. Dishinger's fine. He's, not he's, a guy he's good. I necessarily go out of my way to He's get. better than Wiggins. The guy that I think is I've undervalued so much lately is James Worthy. And the reason is... Is he better than Josh Smith? I don't think so. Is he? He's no. He's not even in the debate to be better than Jameson. Because I can't green consistently. He's fine. Not even in the question to be better than Jameson with him but other than that the card's incredible player builds incredible grabs rebounds incredibly this card's underrated for how good he is stat wise badge wise perfect tendency wise solid tony parker base is just not good but the very quick timing is fine shift your style pro two size escape pro three movement. how is he out of james play it small forward and he's just gonna hold it down he's not gonna be the best part of the game he's not gonna hurt you how is he ahead of antoine james and that's why he comes in at number 59 at 58 Dark matter, Eddie Curry. Eddie, how is he out of Sabonis? Favorite, Sabonis. Favorite, favorite, 17 on gold. I, I get he freaking Curry. Sabonis, Sabonis is so much better. Is elite. It just comes down to this for Eddie Curry. And Lamelo Ball. It's just he's base is not what he's so he's chicken. Really that's so. Good. That's the and main part about him. Just has to show, like, he has everything. He has everything. That's his best part. The best thing about him is his release, and that's the reason why you have him low. I think even like the 
tight handles, even the ankle breaker on Hall of Fame. Everything you could possibly want, it just comes down to he's not what he was last year. And I think a lot of that comes down to the jump shot 38. So Rose and dribbles. That's so what you're is. He's not what he was last year because every single card in the game is a demigod. He was one of the few demigods last year, and now there's 100 demigods. That's why he's not what he was last year. He's way his card. He doesn't have the dribble glitch, but this card is way better than his pink diamond last year. Six are just absolutely terrible. But Eddie Curry, you're just looking for a pick and pop big. He is a pro is force. Terrible. Okay. That's, that's the final answer I do have. Now, you guys might not like this one, but Galaxy Opal Kawhi Leonard coming in here at number 57. Want to go higher? No. Just a Terry's better. Seven, seven, three weeks. Been hot spots from everywhere. 2012 gamers, 34 on gold. 94 three ball, 90 driving deck, 90 speed ball, 86 bonus, 94 speed station, 98 ladder quickness. You're just time range catch and shoot playing by side. He wasn't no even your main man at 250. Solid for Kawhi. Ray Allen base on quick. With the easiest releases, two green in the game. Again, a lot better on current gen and next gen just because of the dribble style. Pro two size escape. Pro five over the back. Kawhi Leonard will always have a special place in my heart coming in at number 57. One step above a card that's pretty similar to Kawhi uh, as far as height is concerned is RJ Barrett. I guess that's how is he better than Terry Dishinger? They're comparison in this. They're the same height and they both. How is he better than Terry Dishinger? Hot spots from everywhere. Terry Dishinger is the same card with better badges, better Hall of Fame badges. The only difference is Terry Dishinger is right handed. They both have the same release. Terry Dishinger is better than RJ Barrett. How is he behind him? Four out of famous four on gold. 96 people, 95 driving deck, 93 school ace. How is Terry? RJ had a Terry. Showtime shooting wise, incredible. But like why Salad and defensively is going to hold it down. Now, people are going to ask me, Ty, why are you so high on the dark matter RJ when you weren't on the Galaxy Opal? First the same card. Smaller, second of all, he has a ton more badges. Rudy Base, very quick. Pro 2 size escape. Pro 3 movement back. <laughs> We've, we've gone over this. His badges are worthless. They're the same freaking card, except one's one inch taller. This is a pro eight tween. If you're an RJ Barrett fan, I would definitely run this card. I agree. Any type of a setting. I agree. Yeah. If you are an RJ Barrett fan, use RJ Barrett. But he's not better than Terry Dishner. Arsdale up next, six foot five, six nine weeks. Been hot spots from everywhere. We're gonna group the Arsdales together. D Van Arsdale and Tom Van Arsdale are really the same. If you get this D Van Arsdale, gonna be better on next gen. Demonetize the beast. Also comes with the Hall of Fame blinders. You know what that's gonna do. Stat wise, they're basically the same. Tom's just Dwayne Wade. Arsdale, ninety seven three ball, ninety driving deck, ninety three speed ball. Literally the same stats outside of he does not come with steady shooter. These cards are cheese balls. That's the best way I can describe Tom and D. Tom's Arsdale. better on next. They're just cheese balls. And uh, demonetize right better on current. Another cheese ball here. We are going to be talking about. Yeah, I like having the three of together. I agree with that. From everywhere. I have Dwayne Wade at number fifty three. The Van Arsdales at fifty four, fifty five. They're the same card. The difference between point guard eligible and not now. Richard's my favorite. He's got 98. 99. For a 98 to Wade. Showtime shooting wise, incredible player wise. The one thing I would like do like about Dwayne Wade just a little bit more. If you are on current gen, is his player build just a little bit better? That's all there is to it. Yes, chase down blocks. The same thing. They're all going to just be cheese. It's crazy chase down blocks. Now we get to probably the most arguable thing here is where I put the Galaxy Opal Kevin Durant. He comes in here what? at number 52, ahead of the Van Arsdales, ahead of Dwayne Wade. 6'10", 7'4", wingspan. Hot spots from everywhere. Over Jameson. Gamers, 39 on gold. That's 69 total badges. 97, 3, 95. Driving Over Josh Smith. 80, 94 speed acceleration. 94 lateral quickness. Only gold showtime, but that's the only downfall. Man, I want whatever guys, drugs he's on. Kevin Durant on, shooting, or on current gen. This is the Kevin Durant to run. I promise you guys, you guys might disagree. What? I've played Kevin Durant so many times. The only way either of these Kevin Durant's are greening on current gen for 90% of the community is if he has takeover. Otherwise, you're not greening consistently with the card. I'm sorry. I want whatever he's on. Final takeaway. KD's base on quick is on current gen is better than it is on very quick. Obviously, on next gen, it's better on very quick. Should you stop Pro 2 size, size of escape as well as the Pro 2? He's not. He's player barely a top 100 card on next gen. Like, that just shows this is not. This is not a. This is not a overall list with current gen bias. This is a current gen list. Current gen. It's just the way I value. This is a just purely current gen list. This is not a. Next gen list with current. This is not a both gen with bias towards current gen. Because even if that's the case, like next gen, he's not top 100. Or barely. If you are going boat list with current gen bias, he's still in the 80s. He's way. He's in the 50s. He's next so at 51 and 50, we are going to talk about the Magic Johnson. Those Magic Johnsons are not 30 spots better than the Enshrined. The Enshrined does the same thing in game. The difference between this magic and the other magic, there's no difference. Either. They're going to give you the exact same thing. Yes, the invincible magic is going to be a little better badge wise, but that's it. That's literally it. They're the same cards. So if you want to separate these, you can. But guys, the same the card. Magic, why? Just pick up the Team USA magic. They are legitimately the exact same card. So and I remember people telling me in the video, it was like, oh, the fly video. Why are you telling him to tactically downgrade? I'm like, I'm I'm not gonna tell him spend more money on the game. He only had a certain amount of MT that I saw, so I was like, well, I'm just gonna judge you by. But if you don't spend an extra two thousand, turns out the next night he spent two grand more on the game. So, yeah, I'm wrong with that one. But uh, yeah, those Pantheon cards are literally the same as all their Invincibles. You will not notice the difference. Big boys in our top fifty, at least. That, we'll, we'll put this Magic at fifty one, and then the Invincible at number fifty. So coming in at number forty nine, we're gonna plug in. It might be one of the most overlooked shooting. I'm fine with that. Brandon Ingram six nine seven three weeks been hot spots from everywhere. Fifty three I'm fine with that. Gold. Obviously, basically a gold card, an invincible card. There's not much to say about the card. He's incredible, especially if you are in cringe and going to be a better cringe and card than next gen. Jump shot 75, very quick. Pro 2 size escape. Pro 3 move by the back with the shifty dribble style. Brandon Ingram is absolutely incredible. Now, one of the most 
arguable things is me having Wilt Chamberlain in here at number 48. Listen, I know this Wilt is going to be solid, right? I, I understand what Wilt Chamberlain is going to be able to Way higher. I know he's he's way... Next year. He's, he's not a 48. Better he's way better. Gen. And even on current gen, he's going to be If you don't have Dwight on the list, fair enough. I mean, I mean, what does he really give me? I get it. He's a basically incredible GOAT card. But guys, he still has set shot 17. That can't be overlooked. Still has that ugly baited release. Shift your Heads up. Set shot 17. Chicken on next gen. Pro 2 size escape, Pro 3 movement back. I've loved Wilt in the past, in past games. This game, there's just never been a Wilt that I'm just like, wow, I absolutely love the card. He's just okay. That's the best way to describe it. He's okay. Scotty Pippen in here at number 47. And this just goes to show how good our top 47 is because I absolutely love Scotty. I hate Scotty so much. Pippen. 6, 8, 7, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, all great stats, badge wise, literally perfect. Better, way better on current gen than next gen. And that's why he's so low. If this was just a current gen list, he'd probably be in my top 35. But because this is both, he's down here at 47. Still not bad. If you like Scotty Pippen, you can get behind that jump shot 30. That's really the only holdup. Jump shot 30. It's obviously kind of a baited release. A Disney in here, the dark matter at number 46. Now, you guys might think this is high. But I love Anthony Davis. Basically, the difference between this AD and the TBOSA AD is there's just slight differences, especially on the defensive end. This Anthony Davis is going to get the job done. He's honestly, way, this, he's way higher than he should be. Like Anthony, in my opinion, Anthony Davis and Wendell Carter should be one, should be like one ahead of each other. Guy, your power forward position, I don't blame you. There's not one thing on the court this dude cannot do. 80 base on very quick, it's easy at a time. Pro two size escape, obviously can't really curry on current or next gen. He does come with, doesn't he come with shift yet or a quick dribble style? So on next gen, that does help a little bit. 80's okay. That's the best way to describe him. He's okay. He's gonna be able to hold it down. I think he's better at the power forward position than the center position, especially in the era we're in. Now, Kobe Bryant's are coming in here at number 40. This this Kobe's at 44. The other team USA Kobe is at 45. Now, if you're wondering about Okay, I thought you put the team USA Kobe ahead, and I'm like, that doesn't make sense. About the out of position point guard Kobe. He's not making the list. Kobe's incredible. They're, they're really the same card. They have slight differences, but again, if you use one Kobe, if you use this Kobe compared to this Kobe, I agree. They're, they're insane. Difference. They're insane. I promise you that. Same Kobe card. Base, very quick. Pro 2 says escape. Pro 3 move in the back. If you like Kobe, you can use the card, but please pick up the Team USA one instead of the Invincible. So he comes in at 45 and 44. Coming in at 43 and 42, we got our Michael Jordan. The Invincible Michael Jordan is 42. The other Team USA Michael Jordan is number I'll 43. give you that. I again, prefer Kobe to Jordan, but it's preference. Slight. You're really not going to notice much. MJ, it's preference. Similar to the Kobe's of the world. As long as you're good with his release, which you should be on either gen he's gonna be able to hold it down for you a lot of you guys are probably running the team usa kobe the team usa mj just because they're mj and kobe and that's absolutely fine with me but the crazy thing is we do not have a top 40 kobe or mj in the game that's wild to me that just goes to show how good our top 40 is going to be but before we get to our 40 number 41 the out of position Man, six, nine, seven, weeks, not spots forever, point guard lebron, lebron, lebron with 90 basically every stat is that low lebron james point guard card comes with his release now, the lebron james base on current gen is not one of the worst releases in the game honestly he just steps in from the corners but from three it's, it's not pretty bad, bad. Two size of escape. pretty obviously, bad not do that on current gen next gen again pro two moving between as well as the pro three move by the back brown is fine if he's your favorite if he's a top five point guard for you in the game that's fine for me it's not even close anymore still comes in as my 42nd best player in nba 2k 21 at number 40 barely cracking the top 40 is dirk Nowitzki. No, Seven I, feet I, I don't like dirk from ever since four out favors five on gold i hate I that like release dirk a lot. Now, I'll say i'm not i hate that release a big fan of the x and base but dirk's base i like i do like i dirk's hate base. it i'll give you that he's in the right spot but i hate him I like Dirk release more. Definitely do Hall of Fame Showtime shooting wise, everything besides steady. Play wise, you have to apply ankle breaker and stop and go, as well as pickpocket, but he's literally a perfect card. And I will say, especially on current gen, he is one of the most overlooked cards in the game. Because he's a top tier card. If you get his release down, which I still am inconsistent with, but if you get it down pat, Dirk's a top 20 card in the game. If you are good with his release. If you want to argue that you can, but it's hard to argue because he is an invincible card at seven feet. So now we get to our other Kevin Durant, and you guys might hate me for not putting him higher, but how can I put a card that's only good on one gen any higher? And I can't say he's only good. I mean he's great on both gens. Kevin Durant is another one that, like, again, he freaking, he just trying, he's another one of those transcendent players. It's a weird one, like, he actually, in fairness, like, it's a bad one, like, we, we think that likes of LeBron are the only real transcendent players, especially if you're looking this side of the pond. Again, like, another one of the lads that I was with today, huge Nets fan, he's, and he's a huge, huge Kevin Durant fan as well. He's a Nets fan before KD, but obviously a huge Kevin Durant fan, like, I'm sure, like, Tommy's Romeo, which is, like, the middle of no, well, which will be considered... By people in Dublin to be in the middle of nowhere. Although, um, I have family from an even more middle of nowhere part of Mayo. But uh, you guys have no idea what I'm talking about these. So, let's go on. Good on one, Jen, because even on current, Jenny's fine. But I have yet to play against a car, a guy, that without takeover can green with Kevin Durant. And I've played against some comp dudes running him. i played with some unlimited dudes. He's great. He greens with this Kevin Durant. I swear, it's all I see in my comments. He's great. But I still don't see people greening with this card. Once I see it happen on current, Jen, I'm talking about current, Jen, I'll put him higher. But KD, this one comes in at 39. This KD comes in at 38. Back to back because it's the same way too low, way too low. Struggle to green, and I can't say it's impossible to green with them, but they're going. You're going to struggle to green shots with those. Way too low. Average player on current gen, 37. Maybe coming as a surprise for a lot of you guys is the point guard Nikola Jokic, seven feet tall, seven three. Stinks on next gen. He's in hot spots from everywhere. 69 of favors four on gold. This card first came out. I had high hopes for him. Eddie Curry's better than him on next gen. Well, he's fine. He can hold it. Eddie Curry's better than him on next gen. I'm being dead serious. Slash and dribble styles, not it. He's on current gen. Maybe he'd be top 25 with how bad
does have the pro three move on the back he's fine objectively but not a card i'd you know obviously lock in for one of the worst value cards in the game 36 collector level jason tatum 686 not as good as kd in my opinion 11 on gold. i don't love jason tatum's player build but that's it that's literally the only thing i don't like about the card tendency wise perfect base one his release is above average it's not spectacular it's above average it's seven on very quick it's so chicken shift your staff pro two size get pro two fine as well as a pro three boom on the back it's fine jason tatum's absolutely incredible i don't think anybody's gonna argue that fact the thing is, his player build only being 6'8 and only a 6'11 wingspan just hurts him. He's a okay. Tiny bit. He's card, fine. Again, I didn't really know where to rank was this Pokachevsky card. 7 feet tall, 7 3 wingspan, hot spots from everywhere. 36 solid favors, 8 on gold, way better on next gen than current gen. Obviously, stat wise, I like it. Perfect card, which is kind of surprising. I like it. I like it. He's starting to he's starting to win me over a little bit that he's taking next gen into consideration, putting Pokachevsky to side. Now, if you're on next gen, he is still going to be absolutely elite. I want to make that loud and clear. Next gen wise, is elite current gen. He's a very mid point card. I'll say, it, especially because of his player build. Imagine being seven feet tall, one ninety five on current gen. That's going to hurt the card, but because of how good he is on next gen, he deserves a spot. Weight means five. nothing. Player build is player build. Weight means nothing. Or we're gonna plug in Mo Bamba. Now I will say, is so Mo Bamba better good. than Dirk? I don't know. They give you different things. And I'm gonna go over that. Seven feet tall, seven ten wingspan. He's so well underrated. He's a better Dino. He's the most underrated. He might be the most underrated card in the game. But once you fully badge up this mobile, but it's really preference between him and a guy like a Derek Novinsky. Now he does have the shape He's so much better than Derek connection. Not even a debate on next gen. Mobile puts him over the top as well as a seven ten wingspan cannot be overstated. Mobile definitely more of a next gen card, whereas I feel like Dirk is a little bit better on current gen. Number third at number uh, at number thirty three here we do see the Cam Bateman. I like the Cam Bateman. I like the Cam Bateman. Fifty one out of fifty fifteen on gold. I, I probably might be the higher, but I like I like one hand Mobamba. And that is his release. His release is not the easiest. The time not the easiest to, to uh, green. But once you get accustomed to that release, I used to be okay with it when I use this card consistently. He's incredible. Shifty drive looks that one. Really good release. Really good release. Absolutely incredible. I just think there's more and more centers that we're getting that just kind of overshadow the Cam but still a top thirty five player in the game. Coming in at number thirty two, a card I personally like quite a bit is the Dark Matter Jonathan Isaac six eleven seven two wingspan hot spots from everywhere. Video yeah, I'll give you that. Gold again. We're getting into the top 35. I think Poku's better, but I'll give you that. If they're your favorite card in the game, that's fine. You can, there's probably somebody out there that would rather play with Jonathan Isaac than anybody else because that's how they have the most success with. And if that's you, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Jump shot 70 very quick. Shift shot pro two. Says escape pro three. Move in the back. Definitely. Better. He's right. What he's saying. We're at the stage where any of these top 50 cards can be the best card on your team, and you can have a ton of success with them. That's how good all of these cards are in the game. Better on next gen than current gen in my experiences with Jonathan Isaac, but still very solid. Believe on both gens. 31. A card I will vouch for until the end game on current gen. If we ever so get an out of position, Chris Stapps is that can play the three or the shooting guard position, he's gonna be a top card in the game. Hot spots from everywhere. 49 favors. 16 on gold. I just love what he gives you off end. Imagine a Curry sliding Chris Stapps Porzingis at the two. GG's. So even defense, so I'm gonna fine. say GG's. He's a little lackluster, but if he could get green shoes, I would be higher on the card because he can't get green shoes. It kind of sounds weird to say he can't get his speed where it needs to be. Brook Lopez base on very quick, such an easy speed doesn't matter on next gen. Quick dribble style. I'm a big fan of KP. It just comes down to who we got in our top 30. He can't be any higher. Saying that Betty Hardaway is number 30, six foot seven, six way too high. Everywhere, six four, was five. Way too high. 30 on this list is absolutely ridiculous because I, when he came out, I thought he was a top three or four or five point guard in the game. Way it's too just, high. It all comes down to preference, right? Release is incredible. He moves unlike any other point guard on current gen in the game. Quick drive stop, pro two, says escape, pro three, move in the back. He's only six seven though, and that hurts his value, especially considering where we're at in two. After Pen you know what spots in only six seven for a point guard. At number 29, Joe L. Embiid is up next. A for me, Penny's not as good as Lamella. Card that I'm one step higher on than in the Cam Bateman than a KP. Seven feet tall, seven five wingspan, hot spots from everywhere. Fifty six out of famous, twelve on gold. He's very, he's, he's literally that's the centers I compare him to. Chris Stapps, the Kembe, and Joel Embiid. They're kind of in their tier of their own at this center position. Joel Embiid's gonna give you the best of both worlds. Offensively solid, defensively solid. Jump shot forty seven on very quick. Think of Thon Maker. Incredible release. Shifty dribble style. Pro two sides escape. Pro two between as well as the pro three movement behind the back. Definitely a better card on current gen than next gen. I mean, I'm not he's saying because I agree, but everything. Build, which makes him better. He's great on both gens. I agree. We are gonna talk about the Luka Invincible Don. The Invincible Luka Don. I know you guys are already commenting. I don't disagree. Sorry, why is Luke Edwards? Listen. I don't disagree. Here's what I have to say. I don't Justin disagree. Lose. Here's my thing. I have Luka Doncic on current gen. I don't disagree okay. with this spot. Right? And, and you can make the argument. If he's your favorite point guard in the game, I'm okay with it. I him. agree. Okay, I just want you guys to be aware. I'm okay with that. It's a good he's spot. Point guard in the game. But there's some point guards I prefer. Now, on next gen, Luka might be the best. Okay? He might be the best. But I'm guessing the majority of people watching this are current. The problem is, is that you need to be a very specific type of player for Luka to be the best. Like, if you are not skilled with Luka, Luka's just, an, just another spot up shooter. If you know what you're doing with Luca, Luca can be the best. If you put him into the hands of a pro and point guard, he can be the best. However, I've seen Luca in, in the hands of a lot of weak players, and I mean, he doesn't do anything.
engine. Anyway, hot spots right where it doesn't have that. It, player building on the court doesn't feel that great. 60 out of favor, 7 on gold. He has the XM base, which on current gen, I'm not the biggest fan on. On next gen, it's incredible. Look, I don't know what you guys want me to say about Luka. I just can't be any higher on him when you guys see the point guards who I have coming up next. David Robinson at number 27. We're comparing Luka Doncic to David Robinson. So if you get mad at Luka, there should be an equal amount of people that get mad at David Robinson. Seven yeah, I think D-Rob's way too low. D-Rob's top like 15 gold. for me easily. There's, there's no downfall. It's really preference based. And I don't like David Robinson to release on very quick. I love it on very quick. I'm next quick. gen, here's the thing about David Robinson. Quick dribble style, weighs less than the required, so he has a pro two size of escape. Pro eight between pro eight or pro three movement back. He's gonna move absolutely. He's incredible. better than he's one of the best on next gen, if not the best. At number twenty six, here's where here's where people are trying, gonna probably try to argue. I love Larry Bird. People are probably gonna argue Larry Bird is not a top three card, but hear me out. If you're on or if you're on current gen, I'm not Larry gonna Bird argue. Most chicken men in two K. I'm not. Gonna, I don't. Four to twenty eight pounds, which means he even has a curry escape if that matters to you. Hot spots. I'm Bird. gonna say this right now. If you have this Larry this high, you've got to put the other Larry. The point guard Larry's insane for current gen. Like, for me, point guard Larry's better than Odom. Like, if you have this Larry this high, you got to have that point guard Larry on the, on the list. 65 out of favorite sport on gold. Literally perfect stat and badge-wise. No, it is. His release, I mean, is it the best in the game? No, but it is quick. It's decently easy to time once you get the hang of it. Shift your stop, pro two sides escape, pro three movement in the back. I'm just glad we got a Larry Bird in 2K. That is good for his time, right? We haven't seen one nearly all year long. Rudy up next, 6, 8, 6, or 7, 3 wingspan. Hot spots from everywhere. I think Pope was better. Now, the reason I rate him higher than Luka Doncic is because of his ability to just be a better defender. I think Luke is better. I think Luke is better. Much greater than that of Luke. Down he's okay. He's like a point guard or Jay Barrett. 96 speed acceleration, 97 lateral quickness. Between him and Ru or between him and Luca, it's really preference. Most people probably probably prefer Luca. I prefer Rudy. Remember, this is my ranking list. That is why Rudy is a little bit higher. And if you're wondering something else, there's nothing to get too angry about yet. And the pro eight tween at number 24, we do get the invincible Shaq. 24. Hot spots from everywhere. 65 out of favorite. Six. You're mental. I know Shaq is fast on next gen. You're mental. Do what he needs to do. But the Gallo base are very quick. You are mental. Listen, y'all are lucky I put Shaq in my top 25. That's you are I'm, mental. If, right, if Shaq's your favorite center, I'm okay with that. But if you're on current day, you are mental. Three or four center in the game. I know for me, he's definitely not. You are Make mental. Sure do what you guys got to do. Number 23, we are going to be talking about the Tracy McGrady. I am going to put the invincible Tracy McGrady at number 23. You have Shaq at 25. You are crazy. 23. With the out of position one at number 24. Now, the reason we're going invincible one first, he doesn't have point guard eligibility. That's the first thing. And the majority of people who watch this are going to be on current gen. The only real differences between the cards is the fact that one has steady shooter and one One's better current, one's better next. So, yeah, one up to the other. Card. I'm glad 2K is doing stuff like this. So, if you're on current gen, you're not forced to use a Tracy McGrady with blindness. But they're really the same card. Both are absolutely incredible. They're your favorite shooting guard in the game. That's fine. But they come in at number 23 and number 22. How is Shaq 25? Number 21, we do see our. How is Shaq below Moses Malone? Limited reward, Moses Malone. Six, I love Moses Malone. How is Shaq lower than him? He's one of our favorites 10 on gold. Now, here's my thing. I'm on Current gen, at least, I prefer Moses Malone to Shaquille O'Neal. How? Most of you guys probably are going to disagree. I agree. I don't disagree with that point, but Shaq's so much better on next gen. Agree with oh, that. my that's God. that's absolutely okay. That's why this is my video. But my thing is, jump shot 31 on very quick is so much easier to green. Than and again, I, you're, again, rank people how you want. He's going to react the exact same with some, to some of, my, some of my top 100 list. We all have our own opinions. But How? The XM base on, or not the XM bench, the Gallinari base. How? Should just have pro two size escape, pro three movement back. There's nothing Moses can't do. He's he's kind of like James Worthy in the sense that I feel like they grab extra rebounds, they get great animations around the rim. And Moses Malone, because of the Galaxy Opal, will always have a special place in. He's my got the great upper. Although he has a special place in my heart, he is still not better than our top twenty. This he's twenty. This is number twenty. How he's is he twenty? Seven two seven seven. We've been hot spots from everywhere. Thirty two out of favorites. Thirty one on gold. Ninety two three ball. Only an eighty five. How is he twenty? Eighty nine ball. Ninety two ball. Hundred eighty nine speed acceleration. Eighty eight lateral quickness. One of the most mid stats and badge cards that you guys are gonna see on this list. Do you have Danny Ferry so hard? Him. Based on very quick pro two size escape on next gen. Obviously pro three moving back on current gen matters. What was incredible release wise, animation wise, he is absolutely elite. Cracking the top twenty. Coming in at number nineteen. A, another guy you guys might debate is the best in the game. So we saw Luka Doncic at what number twenty eight. Number nineteen we see Hero Turkey. Oh it's God. all preference. Six ten six eleven. We see hot spots for. That means Danny Ferry's not on the list. Okay, you forgot Danny Ferry. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. But Danny Ferry, I mean, is top 30. He's going to be top 30 on my list tomorrow. Still on my team to this day. Then again, I use Bobo. I'm going to That's how I think of Hedo. Yes, tendency-wise isn't great. Does have base. Hedo's so good. So good. As well as the pro three movement in the back. Hedo's immaculate. But all, all of my top 20 cards are exactly that. We're throwing Danny Ferry in here at number 18. 6, 10, 7, 2, 7, 5. First of all, I'm not even crazy enough to put Danny Ferry ahead of Bo Bowl and Hito Turkoglu. Danny Ferry, for me, it would be Danny Ferry maybe one spot below Hito Turkoglu, but man, you got Ferry in your top 20. I thought he wasn't going to be on the list. No disrespect, not disrespecting one of the best, the longevity award, the longevity award winner of my team, Danny Ferry.
Queen Spin Hot Spots from everywhere. 33 out of favors, 34 on gold. There's not one card in the game that I go back and forth with more than Danny Ferry. Some days I love him, some days I hate him. 97 3 ball, 95 driving deck, 94 ball, 86 ball, 95 speed session, 95 lateral quickness. The only thing I wish Danny Ferry had was more Hall of Fame badges. Now, the one I play with on my nobody spent has those extra Hall of Famers, but that's really the only thing you can ask for. Stat wise, basically perfect badge wise, or you know, badge wise, lax luster, or a little so lax luster. 90, so base 98 good. on Ferry, quick, quick, you're just pro two sides of stage. So Jesus. good. Pro two, the Danny Ferry can play endgame. That was a question when he came out. Is Danny Ferry going to be an endgame card? He's not a top 10 endgame card, but he definitely can. No, he can play. play. In the last I agree. Thought Maker up next literally came out one month later than Danny Ferry. I think he does better, but it's fine. I'm fine with it. 47 out of favors, 21 on gold. 94 3 ball, 90 driving down. Good speed ball. He leaves a little bit to be desired. I think he does better, but I'm fine with it. Seven feet tall at the small forward position. Absolutely incredible. Hall of Fame showtime. Shooting wise is solid. Defensively solid. I green a ton of shots with Thon Maker too. So if you're wondering, oh, I have Yeah, Thon would be really nice. But I green so much with this card to not put him there. He obviously does have the Pro 2 between as well as the Pro 3 boom on the back as well. Bill Russell at number 16. 6 feet 10. 7 foot That's fine. I'm fine with that. He's one of the famous 10 on gold. Again, at this point, it really becomes preference, right? We're getting to the top 16. Fine, I even build Bill Russell his bowl balls preference. Is that we should play the 4 or the 3 because at the power 4 position, 6 10 it's not bad but there's just guys that are set i run up to five, five and he's really good so just next gen he's a good he's five incredible feature four that's fine because height doesn't really matter nine. next gen uh I, I, I don't regret at the five losses, like what I will say but coming in at number 15 smaller players get better right animations now, the difference is I got James Wiseman in about five minutes and it took me a lot longer to get Bill Russell seven foot one seven six wingspan four Wiseman no hot spot from the top of the D50 when I you know what if you have him at 15, I'm fine with Bowl Ball 20. Hall of Famer 17 on gold. The biggest difference is just how long Wiseman feels compared to Bill Russell. Hall of Fame showtime, shooting wise, incredible playmaking wise, solid. Defensively is solid as well. Tendency wise, elite. Step space on very quick with Ruiz. Upper is fine. It's not the best release in the game, but it's quick. It's fine. Decent. I mean, it might. It just might be. It just might be. It's really easy to time. Quick drop style does have the pro two. If you aren't lefty on as well, and still gonna have the speed glitch, which is incredible. As well as that pro three moving behind the back. Now we are going to get into our top fifteen. Above fifteen, we got at number fourteen, out of position to Giannis Antetokounmpo, six eleven, seven four wingspan. He's my point guard on Xbox. So we're not gonna see a lot of point guards in the top ten. I mean, I prefer. I personally prefer this Giannis to the small forward Giannis because, like, you can't argue. You can argue that this Giannis belongs in the best starting five in the game. I don't think you can argue that the power forward, small forward one belongs in over Yao, Taco, and Bobo. Giannis is one of my favorite favorite three point guards in the game right now. Hot spots from everywhere. 51 out of favor, 17 on gold. The only downfall is two things. Not not the highest three ball, and then you look at his base. Does have the Giannis base on very quick, which is not as good on current gen as the Giannis base on quick. He has a I mean, how is he better than the rain effect? How is he not better than the point? The Coming in at number 13 is the invincible Giannis. Now, you guys might be wondering. Point guard Giannis is better. How's he number well, here's the thing. I can't put that many centers in my best squad. That's the problem. But Giannis is absolutely incredible. Point guard Giannis is better. Hot spots from He's better. Of favors, seven on gold. Literally, is incredible. The only difference between this and the out of position is really the three ball. I mean, badge wise, there's a slight difference, but there's not much there. So I convince. The catch is getting green. It's like invincible LeBron versus Team USA LeBron. Invincible or Team USA LeBron's better because he plays the two. A lot more than the other Giannis, just because he's going to have that 99 three ball with a coach. Now to number 12, we are going to plug in the new invincible Paul George card. Six nine six eleven wingspan. You're going to put Cam in your top ten. I prefer Paul George at the shooting guard position. I want to clarify that before we go any further. At the point guard position, I prefer Giannis. Shooting Shooting guard, give me Paul George. Literally a worse version of Cam Reddish. He's slightly literally. Downgraded. You have to be like, how is he slightly downgraded? Cam Reddish is just different. Paul George base very quick. Quick drop style, pro two size escape, pro three movement back. I'm telling you guys, Paul George is so good. And he's only at number 12. At number 11, we are going to he's talk gonna about... He's going to put Cam Reddish top 10. 6, 10, 6, 11. We've been hot spots from everywhere. 67 out of favor, 6 on gold. There's this on he's top. going to put Cam Reddish in his top 10. This is a... Oh, my God. Lads. Current gen, guys. Oh, my God. Like, he, I don't even think I'm going to put Hito on my top 10. I'm not that biased. He's a top two point guard in the game. I'm going to say it right now. Current gen, if you like attacking the rim like I do, he's a top two point guard. He's chicken. He's so Every chicken. I, I'm not going to disagree. He's be at number 10, but let me tell you guys, do not sleep on Blake Griffin's release. So chicken. Quick drivers out, pro three move by the back. I'm in love with him. Is he going to keep Simmons in the top 10? I grind him on my nobody spent. The reason I don't use him on Xbox is because I didn't grind for him, so I'm using Giannis. But Blake is so, so elite. At number 10, I think the highest point guard we do have our dark matter, Ben Simmons, six foot ten, seven foot wingspan, hot spots from everywhere. It's crazy. Nearly three months later, is still the best point guard I mean, in the game. We're probably AK, but I'm fine 94, with it. Ninety six speed acceleration, ninety seven lateral quickness. Hall of Fame showtime shooting wise does come with Hall of Fame range. Playmaking wise, insane, and then defensively is elite. Now the majority of Ben Simmons out there now have some extra Hall of Famers, so look for that if you just. I'm fine. I'm fine with this. Look, I'm fine with this. Defensive is based on very quick, quick dribble style, pro two sides to escape, as well as the pro eight tween. I still think it's blasphemy to have this card as number ten, but not have the pink dye and Ben Simmons in the top one hundred. I think that's blasphemy. Now here's the thing, speed glitch on current gen is all you need. On next gen, the Pro 8 tween is pretty useful. I'm a big fan of Ben Simmons, and he is my favorite point guard. Got, got to play at point guard right now in the game. Cracking the top 10 at number 9, we do get Kawhi Leonard, 6, 7, 7, 3 weeks. Man, I'm not going to spend much time talking about Kawhi. You know what you're... I mean, he's... Is, I, mean, I mean, okay? You're getting. 
gonna be a three and D guy, and that's what you're gonna do. He knows better. I this day green the most with is Kawhi Leonard, and that's just why he's there. There's guys that I like more than shooting guard position, and one of those guys is this guy right here in Dark Matter, Andre Kirilenko. Now I do like AK at the two more than the, than the one. I will say. Yeah, AK guys, deserves to be there. Hot spot from everywhere. I mean, Bobo, yeah, Otako, taco one, one, two, three. My opinion, the reason I like him more than Kawhi, I'm not, I'm not better at shooting with AK. Uh, I actually kind of prefer Kawhi's release to the base 98. But what I will say, AK six nine seven four wings. Who else on this list? Are absolutely ridiculous. All 99 defensive stats too. He's just one step above Kawhi. If they're your two shooting guards, you're doing something right. Number seven now, we're going to talk about our two LeBron James. Now, I personally play LeBron at the small forward position. So if, if it's me, this is why, that's why this LeBron's coming in first. Team USA Braun at number seven. The Invincible LeBron at number six. They're Team USA be is better. Outside of a few badges, they're literally identical. Yes, the Invincible LeBron. Team USA is better because if you have your best possible team, if you make the best possible team on my team, LeBron James plays the two. You have LeBron James at two, Andre Karolenko slash Hito Turkoglu at the one, slash Giannis. Um, at the small forward position, you play ball ball. At the power forward, you play, yeah. At the center, you play tackle ball. For me, because, like, you don't, you just don't play the invincible Giannis or the invincible LeBron if you have ball ball in your team. Um, And whereas this one can start on the best possible squad, so I personally think USA is better. It's just going to give you that little bit more if you do play them both at the three, but they're basically the same card. Defensively, just going to give you that little bit more. LeBron, base, or XM base, we know this on very quick. Absolutely incredible. Still going to beat people up on defense. Offense, he's incredible. I actually running, am running the Team USA, Bron. Trying to think who's five. So we've got... Bull Yao. Um, check what other players are there. There's Bull Yao. And Taco. All players. Dark Matter. Gone through Yanis. He's not putting Larry in there. Obviously not Dirk. Cor I... <laughs> Kareem's not better than Shaq. If you take Bojans into account, Kareem's not better than Shaq. Kareem, who's the, who's number five then? I've obviously forgotten somebody. At my three, just because it's not worth the price upgrade. Still. But I have a lot of success with LeBron James. So I'm able on Xbox right now to run LeBron James. Reem, and Kawhi Leonard. Reem should not be. If you're taking Bojans account, Reem's not top 10. 10. The guy you're going to see at number five is a card I don't run on Xbox because I don't want to grind for him. I hate grinding on Xbox. I know it's 30 minutes, but I can't stand Oh my God, I forgot. If you are not willing to grind 30 minutes for the card, he's not a top five freaking card in the game. How is Cam Reddish number five? What? This is blasphemy. This is blasphemy. This is worse than this is worse than me putting Dean Wade at 50. How is Cam Reddish the fifth best player in the game when he's a worse Paul George? There's a better version of the same card, is there? How? How? How is he top five? And grinding on Xbox. I'd rather have a Kawhi card that I have to pay 300k for than a Cam Reddish, who is a slight upgrade. Six, eight, seven, but we spend hot spots from ever. He's not an upgrade in Kawhi. He's not an upgrade in Kawhi. He's not better than LeBron James. He's. Is he even that much better than number 98, Josh Smith? I don't know. I'm so glad I got him on my No Money Spent Squad series. He is my favorite shooting guard in the game. So he has to be above the Kawhi's AKs of the world if he's my favorite shooting guard. 94 3 while 95 driving there. No, no, no. Because for me, my favorite two guard in the game is Manute Bowl. Manute Bowl is probably going to end up seven, in the 70s on my list. But man, Cam Reddish. Cam Reddish a five? World's gone mad. World's gone mad. How they showtime shooting wise incredible play wise solid and defensive. He's elite as well. I don't know what there is about Cam Reddish, but he's different. Tendency wise incredible. He's just different. I play with him on defense. He gets more plus than anybody else in the game. Paul George base very quick. Should just dribble down. Post he says escape. He's just worse. Paul George. On current gen, there's just something special about him. He's just worse. Paul George. But he is my favorite shooting guard in the game. Number four here, we are going to get and see our invincible Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The top. This show. This shows that you don't even consider next gen because he's not top twenty. He's not. If you combine both gens, he's not as good as Shaq. Pretty set in stone for me. At number four, there's a big gap between number five and number four. Big gap between four and three. Now two and one are super close. But Kareem at number four here. Seven foot two, seven five. We spin hot spots from everywhere. Six two out famous. Three five, is four. Taco. Literally a perfect card. Two is Outside yeah. One's range, bubble. Most people are gonna be able to apply Hall of Fame. Anyways, literally is a perfect card. Tendency wise, perfect jump shot. Twenty one. I'm very quick. Shift triple star. Pro three. Boom on the back. Card's perfect. Literally, absolutely perfect. I actually run him. At no, he's not right now because again on, on my Xbox account. No, he's not. He can't burst on next gen. I do not have top. You can't burst on one of the Yeah, I, I said I ran him at the four. I ran him at the five. I'd prefer to run Kareem at the four, though, unless you run the Twin Towers with Yao and Taco together. At number three here, we are going to get and see Invincible Bobo. Seven foot two, seven, seven wingspan with hot spots. You are kidding me. You are. You said there's a big gap between three and two. 
you have taco ahead of bow bow. Man, I have taco. I don't. I will never get bow bow. And even I know that's blasphemy. Bobo is so much Bobo better. Is your top card in the game because it is small, small forward eligibility. I'm okay with so it. much better. How good he is, the animations he gets. I'm absolutely fine. If you so want to argue much better. Not... If you want to argue Yao over Bobo, I'm fine. But if you want to argue Tack over Bobo, I, I'm going to think you're on something. I spent too much time on it. You know what Invincible Bobo is going to give you. Just a better version of the pink. Yao has to be one. Taco, you cannot say Taco is better than Yao. I have Invincible Taco at my number two with Yao at my number one. Now, I will say, the majority of the community might have Taco at number one and Yao at number two. Yao's way better. Yao's way better. more people using and utilizing Taco Fall than Yao Ming when they have them both on the court. Now, one... I mean, Yao's better. One thing I like about Yao... Yao can play power forward. Yao's better. Over Taco is his power forward eligibility, also his ability to shoot the ball better than Taco. I feel like people use Taco as a primary ball hitter just because they know people are more adept to leave Taco open from the three point line, so they use him attacking the rim. Now, one thing I would say Taco's release is better than Yao's. Does have the jump shot 47, but the lack of hot spots do hurt the card. Whereas Yao's Bowl's better than both, though. Eight, Bowl's better than both. Like, Bowl's way better than both on next gen. I mean, maybe on current gen, Yao and Taco are better, but Bull's the best by a mile on next gen. These guys, you can have in whatever order. I have Yao number one, Taco number two. Let me know who you'd have at number one. Bull, Bull. Guys, remember, there's Bull, probably Bull. more cards that I've missed. Okay, I probably missed five or six cards within this video. That I actually thought he was going to miss Danny Ferry. But anyway, yeah, that's that's not too bad a list. Like, outside, like, Josh Smith, Chris Webber, and Kareem being way too high, basically, because Kareem deserves to be there on current gen. He doesn't deserve to be anywhere close to next gen. I'm actually all right with that. And Cam Reddish is just stupidly high. Like... I man, like my my favorite like meme card, not even necessarily meme cards. My like favorite preference cards. I'm not crazy to put them top five. Actually, I did put Draymond top five at one stage in like December. So maybe, just may just maybe I've made the same mistakes. I love how it says his nicknames Yao. But anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. Obviously, it goes sub to tie. Link to the channel will be in the description. As always, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.